Object-oriented programming is a technique used to write computer programs. What is a computer program? A computer program is a set of instructions that a computer carries out, or executes, to do a job. The program is stored on your computer, or on CDs and DVDs, in language the computer understands. When you run the program, the computer does only what the program tells it to do, much like we might follow a recipe to bake cookies or to follow directions to a friend's house. Here are some examples of different kinds of computer programs. This woman is doing her tax return using a computer program. There are computer programs available on the internet to help people find jobs. You can keep in touch with family and friends in seconds using email programs. You can network computers together and use devices at other locations like printers so you don't have to buy a printer for each location. Medical programs help save lives every hour. And one of our favorites, programs that create video games entertain and educate us. Here's an example of a recipe a baker would follow to bake cookies. Step 1. Gather ingredients. Step 2. Preheat oven. Step 3. Beat eggs and butter. Step 4. Add flour and sugar. Step 5. Mix. And step 6. Bake for 10 minutes. This is a perfectly good example of a procedural program. A procedural program is just a list of actions or instructions for the computer. Object-oriented programming uses objects to organize properties, the ingredients or data, and methods, the instructions or actions, into one unit. What does this mean? Let's use a baker as an example. First, we'll create a model of the baker showing items the baker has and the actions we would like the baker to perform. The baker model is a self-sufficient unit containing all the information a baker needs to do his job. In other words, the baker has all the tools and ingredients, called properties, and also has actions, called methods, that he can perform. Our baker model would also show the steps for each action below the name of each method. Since we don't have room here, we'll show you all the instructions for just the bake cookies method. The blueprint or model for an object like the baker is called a class in object-oriented programming. The baker class is a model for baker objects we will create next. To create a baker object in a program, you write the class name followed by the name you want to call your object. We'll call our first baker object Cake Man. This is the object Cake Man of the Baker class. To get Cake Man to perform actions, we call a method by writing the instructions shown below Cake Man. Cake Man .bake cake. By putting all the details inside the Baker class, we only have to think about the overall task the Baker object needs to perform to make the cake. We just have to call the Bake Cake method. Hiding details like this is called abstraction in object oriented programming. Another important reason to use object-oriented programming is to allow us to reuse code that has already been written. What is code? Code is just another word for the computer instructions programmers write. This is code. And this is code. And this is code. So, how do we reuse code? Suppose there's going to be a party and you need a couple of bakers to make pies and cakes. If we need another baker object in addition to Cake Man, we can just create a new one using our baker class. Because the Cake Man and Pie Man objects were both created from the same class, they both have the same properties and methods. Their properties, or ingredients, are private and neither one can access the other's properties. This is known as encapsulation, or information hiding. 
we can now use each object's methods in a program to make the bakers do what we want. For example, we can call the methods cakeman.bakecake and pieman.bakepie. Can we call these methods cakeman.bakecookies and cakeman.bakepie? You decide, and we'll show you the answer in a few seconds. Yes, we can call these methods on CakeMan, because each object created from the Baker class has all the same properties and methods. You have seen that we can use a class as a model to create more than one object with the same methods and properties, but these objects don't have to be exactly the same. Look at the dog class on the right. In object-oriented programming, class dog is called the class declaration. We are declaring a new class called dog. Notice the parentheses after the class declaration. The terms inside the parentheses, what breed, what size, and what color, are called parameters. When we create a new dog object, we can specify the breed, size, and color of the dog we will create by passing values into these parameters. The breed, size, and color properties of the dog object will be set to the values we pass into the parameters when we create the dog object. Let's see how this works. We'll create a new dog object called Coolio. We will pass the value Terrier into the What Breed parameter. We'll use Medium for the What Size parameter and Brown for the What Color parameter. Here goes! Let's call the coolio.bark method. Coolio, bark. <laughs> now let's try different values for our parameters. Let's call the sniffer.bark method. Sniffer, bark. <laughs> We'll change the values for our parameters one more time. Let's call the fifi.bark method. Fifi, bark. <coughs> of course, a computer can't really create a baker and bake cookies or create real dogs. But programmers have created object-oriented programs that control robots in bakeries to mass-produce cookies and in many other areas of manufacturing and technology. There are interactive games where you can create simulated people and animals and control their actions just like we did in our dog class. And there are endless examples all around you of how computer programs are used in your everyday life. Visit our website www.highschoolelearning.com for free interactive lessons and to find out about our fun online courses.